Hello everyone and welcome back to another Minecraft tutorial. Today I'll be showing you the most secret hidden room you have ever seen in your life. This is this is the hidden room. There is no redstone, no doors, no anything. It's it's literally just a room and the way to get in is very secret and very difficult if you don't know what you're doing. But if you do know what you're doing, like I do, then you should be okay and you should be able to get in pretty easily. So why don't we get right into it? So recently I uploaded a video showing you this. So this is the crawling method in Bedrock Edition. And I don't I don't know if this exists on Java the way that this hidden room works, but I wouldn't count on it. I'm pretty sure this is a Bedrock bug, and, but it is, it is so sweet. And I do not want the developers to know about this because this is the most epic thing I've ever known. Okay, so all you have to do in order to access the secret room is head into one of your tunnels here, right? And then all you have to do is log out of the game. So this might be a little weird but just just bear with me here log out of the game and then once you've logged out re-log right here and once you spawn into the world there we go you should be in a completely different in a completely different setting so you might have been wondering floppy what the heck just happened you're now you're now in a giant diamond room and that's incredible so yeah I'll, I'll have to show you how this works and then if you want to get out of here all you have to do is walk here walk to the end of this tunnel log out once again then re-log and there we go it's it's we're now on top of this hill which i was just showing you guys earlier so that is it this is this is how this works and i will show you exactly what's going on here so basically what's happening here is when you go into the crawling mode and go all the way down to a very specific block i've marked this block red then the, when you exit the game minecraft actually doesn't want you to respawn back into the game in crawling mode for some reason it does not like when you do that so it tries to basically shoot you upwards as far as it can as far as it has to actually in order to get you into a two block tall space in this case this would be the two block tall space that is the closest to the red block that is here now you were in a completely different room and that room is now is it's completely separate from the first room so these are little tunnels that you would have to dig into in order to get to them normally and no one would know that they're there so that is it's i mean it's incredible it's so insane and as you can see if you went here logged out on this red block and then logged in on this blue you would end up at this area here and it's it's, I mean, I don't really know what to say about this. This is so cool. It teleports you up as far as it needs to, and it only goes straight up, which means if you were to log out on this block and these blocks were not open, if these were not air up here, then it would teleport you all the way up until it finds more air, which in this case would be here, which means if you were to build a giant tower all the way up, whoops, all the way up to build height, then the thing would teleport you all the way up, which is so cool. This is like, it's an incredible way to teleport yourself and also to travel too. I mean, this thing can bring you really, really high up. It's absolutely insane and I definitely recommend it for any survival worlds, any sort of hidden secret rooms, especially if you're in like a faction server or something, there's a chance that someone might find out where you live. This is the best way for you to hide your room, hide a house, you can hide your secret whatever you want to hide and it's inc it's incredible it's really it really is and that is i guess all i have for today so i guess thank you all so very much for watching and it's raining anyways thank you all for watching i will see you in the next one peace